Hey guys, welcome to stage 3 episode 2 and in this episode we're going to be looking into melodies. Um, in, last, in the last episode we looked into kicks, claps, snares and hi-hats and how we use that to create a bass and a foundation to our song and right now we're going to take that a step further by building a, a, our song into even something more dynamic and by adding melodies onto it and making it sound a little bit more fun to listen to. And the last lesson we, let me just do a recap on the last lesson, which we did the bass claps, I have stairs and I hats and some other instruments right there. We came up with this. And right now we're gonna develop that and put some melodies on top of it and find out, um, how far we can go, what else we can do to this um, beat and make it develop into something even more nicer and brighter. So, um, there are different VSTs in, um, in FL Studio. Uh, some, some are already pre-installed, some you have to download them yourself. So, part of the pre-installed ones are like um, Citrus. Citrus is very good. It's, it's an amazing, it's actually a very amazing piece of um, um, virtual instrument right here. And it has some unique sounds in there. So if you click on the top right, right here, just right here, you can find a sound library. Just right click on it. Uh, you find our uh, sound library and you can choose from various instruments. You know, to work with. And um, there's so many instruments to select from. Can we adjust them right here? You know, just play with the waves a bit. You know? So, like, you know, just play with it a little bit and see what you can come off. But what I'm gonna work with right now is what is called hypersonic. This, the hypersonic is not installed into, um, FL Studio, you have to get it personally. So I just add it into here. Just go here, I had it hypersonic. And I already have it right here. So I'm just gonna be playing with this today. It's kind of a more complex one. And it has, actually has some very amazing sound libraries. And I'll just start with this, working around this and see what I can come up with, you know, with this. So in adding the melodies is basically easy this is the part you're gonna need your keyboard for if you don't have your keyboard don't worry if you don't have a MIDI keyboard don't worry you can always use your 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 mouse to do this just right click come to piano roll click drag you know whatever you want to do you know and I'm just gonna be playing with this a little bit more to see exactly what I can get out of this. So right now I don't have any ideas in my mind. I'm just gonna work with freestyling. So just let's just progress and see what how far we can go. this with my work sound like that will work so to do this I would go right um, just I'm double clicking on the stop button to reset the, the market to the start and I click on uh, record right here Obviously, if you're starting with FL Studio, it's gonna ask you a question how you want to record. So make sure you have a score and a, a score set in right there. Your score is in there. 
the rest is easy it's just going to record it for you um uh click on um score i think yeah score that it's going to come up once you click on the record it's going to give you like a drop down not like this type of menu but a full menu right here and then you just click on it score and automation and the rest will be easy from there once you select that it's going to allow you to record so so i'm just going to go ahead and record this So I got that down now. I'm just going to quantize it. The easiest way to quantize your sound, the main reason what I'm saying, what I mean by quantize, if you can look at it, this is out of space. So I need to get them exactly on the lines and that way it makes it sound nice. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to set this back to line. I just zoom out a little bit and then I will just press control Q. And that will put everything into line. So con control Q to quantize your sound and get everything into line. I'll just undo that. You can see right now undo, it's out of place. If I play it back to you, it sounds like this. See, you can hear it's out of uh, out of line. So what I'll do is I just control Q and it quantize it and everything should sound in line now. You can see. A, a simple melody, you know, and I'm gonna play with it a little bit more. So, what I'm gonna do is, I still need instruments from um, Hypersonic, and instead of me just opening another Hypersonic below, I could easily do what we call a MIDI out. So, if you click on MIDI out, it gives you a platform like this. You can see this long instrument, if you play it, nothing comes up, but you see a line right here and the light right here coming up and what you do is go into hypersonic click on right here and select the input as you can put it in whatever you want i'll put mine at zero and then you come back you come back to uh your midi right here and the port is already set at zero and then i can just choose channel two or three so what i'll do is i'll choose or any channel you want to choose i'm choosing channel three and what the channel simply means is this is channel one so it's being in use right now channel two is blank channel three is blank so i'm going to choose channel three that i chose from there and the main reason i left this is if i want to combine another instrument with this you know just click on this button so these two play together but i don't have an idea to do that right now so i'm just going to pick right here channel three and i put it on instrument pauses from playing I just select an instrument from here so I'm gonna go to lead you don't need to do the MIDI out for uh, Citrus or toxic acid or other VSTs you're using in there just specific um, VST like external ASTs like this they require them just to save memory power I'm just getting enough library loading. So I think I found something interesting and as you can see because I'm already using it, this is now giving me that sound you know so I can work with this now so 
I'm just gonna put this down, play with it a little bit and put it down in there. I'll give that a shot. Still just uh, creating a melody in my head, so I might make an error, I might not. No, that's not what I had in my head. Give it a shot again. I do the same thing I did the last time, which was quantize. So control Q, quantize it, see how it sounds, and then I might probably do a little bit of edits in this. You can see there's a little bit of up right now. Putting them back in place. sounds um in your fl studio by the way and once you click on the plus sign at the bottom you're going to see a bunch of instruments right there you can also use so it's just a matter of just going to those instruments selecting them and using them in in your in your sound itself you know so it's, there's a bunch of just going down here selecting and putting them in there i know that they have poison fl studio has poison you know something good as well you can use so this comes with FL Studio but I'm not using it. I have my own custom ones uh, you can also I already showed you Citrus you can also use Toxic Bio Added you know there's so many great instruments in FL Studio I mean you can also come to PAX right here and look for instruments you know you know, you got bass right there, you got a guitar right there. You can always just drag and drop them in here. No, drag and drop. I'm gonna wait for it to load. No, Direct Wave also got some good stuff right here. Like, so many stuff you can play with, man. Drag and drop. Oh, yeah. Very quick, it's just loading up its website, but I don't need that right now. So, there's so many things you can work with right here, but for real sake, I'm just gonna go back to what I was creating.
and now this is what I call gladiator this is another good one you can download this I recommend having this too you know it's some good good stuff to have in your sound library let's go and select lead again Oh, my bad. Now I forgot to press stop twice. So set the marker and then press this. If you click on this, it's gonna record and join this together. So I'm just gonna press play and it's gonna delete that as we go along. Control Q, quantize. Actually, I zoom out a little bit more. Control Q, quantize. Like. that now sounding sounding tight to be honest so it's not really a little bit more so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put another media instrument right here I'm gonna connect back to hypersonic which is port zero and this time around I'm gonna put it at channel four four is good so this channel right here and I'm gonna put what I call um, I'm gonna put arpeggios in there, you know. And what this does is, you know, it keeps going. So I'm just gonna be trying different ones. See. Which one Try it for now, it will work.
So I'm gonna try that on now. I'll probably change the instrument, but I just wanna get the idea down and then probably change the group um, instrument later. See if it works. Oh, I'll give it a try. Oh wait, I just noticed there's something in here that looks like an arrow. So I'm just gonna do it. Okay, it's fine. My bad. Power and no, I don't want to have any arrows in this. Started from the wrong part. Double click. Stop. Get the micro reset. And do it again. I'm gonna hit it again. Control Q, quantize, delete those, now play back. Now you can notice some people are playing because they're too close to get it. So I'm just gonna cut it. I'm gonna control A, control A everything, and I just cut it short a little bit. So it lets it play off. Come back to that, I'm gonna click on this, click on load, and I'm gonna go change that pair of video. cut it off um, on solo it up and then I'll just lower it down so I'll put everything back uh-huh so what I noticed is that the lead instrument right the lead that I have here uh, two, I've been overshadowed so I'm gonna copy this one actually. This right here. I'm gonna right click copy. And I'll add something called Nexus. You can also add another instrument from your side. So I'm just gonna pull Nexus right here. And find another instrument that's gonna actually boost the sound of it higher. So it gives me a different sound. It's gonna be a totally different sound, but the same melody. So 
I just right click and press paste and then I'll do the same process I did with the earlier one and trying to um, what's it called uh, try to find an instrument the perfect instrument I work right just in the meantime I'll cut this short I'm starting off with that it sounds annoying I'm just going to play with this a bit Sounds alright, but no. I have an idea, I want to just check something. What I'm gonna do for tutorial sake, I'm gonna leave this right here, and basically we can see how far we've come from what we had initially to what we have now. And this sounds tight. To me, I can rap in this, I can drop a bar in this, I can do whatever I want to do, I can even sing in this. So depending on what you're creating, you wanna free yourself and create, you know, create straight up. And now the melody is already set, the bass melody is already set there, I have my kicks, my drums, my hi-hats entirely looped in there and that's how to basically make uh, a melody guys, it's as simple as that, you select your instrument, you get on your MIDI keyboard, record it down, uh, press the record button, once you finish recording, you know, take it off your record button and you know, just play around with it a little bit more. You know, press the record button right here, take it off the record button, do whatever you want. You know, free yourself when you're making your songs. And that's how to make melodies, guys. That's how to make the melody. So, I hope you enjoyed the session. And um, what we're going to do is we're going to move on to the next um, session on how to actually give a um, bass class. To put some bass into this because bass is another class of its own self. So, um... If you have any questions, just leave a comment below or send me a message uh, with a support page or get in contact with me on the weekly webinar or you could just send me a private message if you're on the VIP club. 
and you know again the the one on one treatment we can we could do that and uh, answer all your questions so guys that's it about melody class today i'm going to leave that to run for you one more time so you listen to it and then i'll catch you in the next lesson